Today we're here at the 2024 NBA Draft, and whatever team drafts Bronny James is going to also add LeBron to their roster. Right now, Bronny is projected to go somewhere around 20 in this draft, so we'll see where he ends up going. He could be on a contender. We're nearing the end of the first round, and Bronny James has finally been drafted. He's headed to Oklahoma City. This is going to be insane. LeBron joining the Young Thunder, playing alongside Bronny. We might have a super team. This is what the OKC squad is looking like. We've got Shea, we've got Bron, we've got Chet. They picked up Draymond and Chris Paul. I don't love those moves, but whatever. And of course, we also have Bronny James here in Oklahoma City. So let's get into the season. Hopefully, LeBron and Bronny can win a championship in Bronny's first year. This season was a special one in Oklahoma City. Led by Shea Gildas Alexander and with the help of LeBron James, we won 56 games on the season. LeBron put up 20 points per game in his age 40 season. And as for Bronny James, he did not see the floor just yet, but give him time, he's got potential. Anyways, in round number one, we've got a battle against Memphis. This series is all tied up after four games. The Grizzlies have Ja, they no longer have Desmond Bain, but they have a couple young guys, Ron Holland and Alexander Saar. So let's hop in the Simcast for this game five and see if we can get the win. The Grizzlies stood no chance in this one. We get a huge game five win. Shea drops 47, LeBron drops 26, and we just need one more and we'll be moving on to the second round. We are moving on. LeBron drops 22, 12, and 7 to help lead the way here. And in round two, we've got Luka, Kyrie, and the Mavs. Game one of the series goes to Dallas. Game two is going to go to us. They take game three. We take game four. So again, we're all tied up headed into game five. But here in Oklahoma City, we come to play in big games. It's another win. Shea Gilgis Alexander is showing why he's one of the best in the world. And we just need one more to make it to the conference finals. And we're going to beat Dallas. So now we've got the Pels. Solid squad they have over in New Orleans. But we have three 90 plus players. They only have one. We make easy work in New Orleans in five games, and now we've got Milwaukee in the NBA Finals. Y'all know the Bucks, man, but as long as Doc Rivers is coaching, I think we should be all right. Game one of the series goes to us. Game two also goes to us. We're up three to zero, and it seems like the Thunder made the right decision by drafting Bronny James as they end up adding LeBron and winning a championship in Bronny's rookie year. And after the ring, Bron says, I got at least one more in me. I don't want to retire. And that's great because I want to see LeBron and Bronny sharing the floor. And hopefully that can happen pretty soon. LeBron is down to a 91 overall. But on the other hand, Bronny is up to a 75. Maybe he can get a couple minutes this year. And if he doesn't get some this year, I think next year he'll be out there hooping. Bro, why do we still have Draymond, man? No disrespect to Mr. Triple Single, but come on, 25 mil? But let's get into season number two. Let's see if we can repeat his chance. Season number two is wrapped, and we picked up right where we left off, winning 64 games on the season. That made us the number one seed, as LeBron averaged about 17 a night. Numbers starting to drop off, but he is 41, so it's fine. And Bronny gave us a smooth half a point a game. I mean, at least he got a little bit of PT this year. I think by next year, he should be like an 80 overall, which means he should be in the rotation. Anyways, in round number one, we're taking on Memphis once again. They got off to a hot start in the series, but we ended up taking them down in six. In round two, it's going to be Golden State. I mean, they've got Curry, but that's pretty much about it. No disrespect to Chumo Kiki, but I think we got this one. Oh, yep. We're up three to zero. Get them out of here. Conference finals. It's going to be the Houston Rockets. Dylan Brooks is going to be real mad about what Bron's about to do to him. We beat them in five, and we're moving on to the NBA Finals against Indiana, who have Jason Tatum. Hold on. Hold on. How did y'all do that? I guess they signed JT, and what a duo Halliburton and Tatum would be. Oh, my goodness. We might have ourselves a little challenge in this series. So let's get into it. Game one of the series goes to Indy. Game two is going to go to us. They take game three. We need game four. We don't want to go down 3-1, and we take it. So now we're headed into a big game five. LeBron James has a chance to win ring number six here. Bronny has a chance to win his second ring as a cheerleader. And it looks like in game five, we are going to get the dub. We beat him by almost 60. 
Oh, LeBron turned back the clock. 35 and 10 in this one. And we just need one more and we'll be NBA champions. Indiana ends up beating us in game six. So it all comes down to this game seven championship on the line. And game seven is coming down to the wire. About two minutes to go here. And we're up by three. We also have possession of the ball. There's LeBron and his OKC threads. Now, right now, SGA and Chet aren't in the game. No way both of them fouled out, right? Okay, no, they're just not checked in right now. Hopefully, they get in soon. For now, we need Bron to cook. What are you doing, Bron? Ball goes straight to Andrew Nemhard, and the Pacers get a free possession. It goes over to Alec Burks. Now, it goes to Halliburton. Hallie trying to make his way to the basket here. Tatum's kind of in its way, so Halliburton's going to backpedal a little bit. He gets the screen from Walker. Hallie finds Walker open for a three, and he knocks it down. Game is all tied up. That's a big swing there. I don't know what LeBron was thinking with that pass, but he just threw the ball away. With the game all tied up, we need a bucket. And the one guy on this court who I think we should go to is the man with the ball right now, LeBron James. He's playmaking. He finds Lou Dort open for three. Big shot from Dort. See, those are the type of passes we need Bron to make. Tyrese Halliburton's bringing up the ball for the Indiana Pacers. He's defended by Kaysen Wallace. Kaysen playing some solid defense. Halley gets to the basket. Layup is good. That was good defense from Wallace, but better offense from Halliburton. LeBron has it at the top of the key. Defended by Alec Burks. Screen's going to come from Usman Dang. James trying to make it to the basket. Layup is good. It doesn't matter if he's 41. He's still strong. He's using that old man strength, putting these young men in the gym. Tyrese Halliburton has it for Indiana. He's going to get the screen from Walker. The pick and roll coming for the Pacers, and Walker gets a nice look, but he misses it. It's rebounded by Dang. LeBron James finds Lou Dort on the fast break. Dort swings it to Williams. J-Dub going to miss the layup, and it's rebounded by Tatum. Tatum wearing number 44 here. I don't like that. I'm not going to lie to y'all. He steps into the mid-range J and misses it. It's rebounded by Dort. No need to play fast here. Let's just take our time. Case and Wallace finds Dang for an open three, and he misses it. So the Pacers have a chance to tie the game here. Ball's going to go to Tyrese Halliburton at the top of the key. Halliburton slowing things down. He's going to get the screen from Walker. Halley finds Walker under the basket. Oh, I thought Braun had the block. But instead, he sends Walker to the line. It's always better to send somebody to the foul line than just give him a free two-pointer. So we'll take it, I guess. But I thought Braun had that block. Drace Walker at the line. First shot is good. Second one for Walker is also good. So we've got a one point game here. 12 and a half seconds to go. The Pacers are going to have to foul and they're sending Josh Giddy to the line. Giddy first free throw is off. Oh my gosh. At least give us one, dude, please. Second one for Giddy is good. But now the Pacers could win this with a three ball. We got to be very disciplined here on the defensive side of the ball. The Pacers have great options with Halliburton and Tatum. Halley has it right now. He's going to get the screen from Walker. Halliburton finds Walker for a three ball and he misses. It's rebounded by Giddy. This game is over with. We are NBA champions. Game seven of the finals. When that shot from Walker went up in the air, I was real nervous. But don't worry. We got the dub. Y'all see Draymond on our team celebrating. LeBron James is a six-time NBA champion. And already, Bronny is two for two on NBA championships as well. Man, get the trophy out of Josh Giddy's hands. SGA had 32 in this one. Bron only 13 points, but his guys had his back. And we are NBA champions. The finals MVP, of course, is SGA. And LeBron wants to retire, but he has a chance to pass MJ. So we're telling him, come back for one more. This year, him and Bronny should be able to share the floor as well. And I'd love to see those two guys out there. So we got to have Bron come back for one more. Here's what the team is looking like headed into year three in Oklahoma City. Unfortunately, Bronny didn't go up much in overall. He's only a 76, and I don't know if that'll be good enough to find PT for him. He is the second best PG on the team, though, so maybe that'll give him a chance to get out there. Luka plays for the Kings now? All right, man, I guess. And y'all know the drill at this point. We were really good at basketball. 62 wins on the season. Bron only averaged 15, but he's 42, man. And he says he's leaving the game after this season. So let's get one last chip, win Bron seven rings. And also as a quick little check-in on Bronny, he averaged a smooth zero. Round number one, we got Memphis. We face him pretty much every year. 
We're up three to two and we beat them in six. We beat them in six like every time this video. Now we got the Rockets once again. A Dylan, 42 year old LeBron's about to give you nightmares. Get out of here, man. And in the conference finals, we got the Kings led by Luka Doncic. They've still got some bonus as well. Not a bad team, but are they better than us? I don't think so. Game one and two go to the Kings. We take game three. They take game four. We take game five. Come on. One last 3-1 comeback for the books, Bron. It'd be special. Oh, we might just make it happen. Game six is definitely going to be a win. Now all we need is game seven, and we will complete this comeback. It all comes down to this. One last finals trip on the line in our last dance with LeBron James. And it looks like we're going to get the win in game seven, a three to one comeback. And we're facing Knicks legend Julius Randle in the NBA finals. Oh, this series is going to be special. LeBron has been turning it up in his last year. Look at the efficiency. Look at the numbers. They're all up. He's open. And in the finals, we've got New York. They picked up Jamal Murray, Keegan Murray. They've also got Rudy Gobert, Julius Randle, but not one 90 overall player. Do they really think that's going to be enough to beat us? Game one's going to go to us. We also take game two. We're up three to zero. They finally get a game. Okay. Okay, New York. Calm down. We can't blow a 3-0 lead. Jordan fans, they'll be going crazy if Braun blows a 3-0 in his final season. And this one is going to come down to the wire. The seventh ring on the line with a minute 44 to go here. We're up by five. We just got to close this one out. LeBron James has the basketball in the garden. He gets the screen from Chet. James to the basket. Layup is off. Now New York's moving in transition here. Jamal Murray going to swing it over to Julius Randle, the conference MVP. Randle is defended by LeBron James. Bron playing some solid defense. Randle can't find any room, so he swings it. Three is up, and it's off. Rebounded by Holmgren. Holmgren gives it up to Case and Wallace. Wallace is defended by DiVincenzo. Finds James once again. LeBron going to swing it over to J-Dub. Jalen Williams going to slow things down a bit here. He's waiting for the screen. It comes from Kaysen Wallace. Williams going to pull a three ball. He misses. Shea grabs the board, goes back up. Layup is good. We might have this one in the bag as long as they don't hit a three here. Julius Randle finds DiVincenzo on the cut, and DiVincenzo gets the layup to go. The Knicks are hanging in there. Just give me one more bucket, SGA, and we'll have this championship in the bag. Double team's going to come. Shea finds J-Dub wide open for three. Williams misses. James gets the rebound. James back out to J-Dub. And now the Knicks have to foul. A huge offensive rebound by LeBron. We are NBA champions. LeBron James, seven rings. SGA wins finals MVP. And that is going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.